Welcome everyone. This is uh, Tom Loy with blueandgold.com here with Corona California Santiago quarterback Blake Barnett and the newest commitment for the class of 2015. Blake, how's it feel? Uh, it's amazing. It's a relief and uh, I'm glad to be a part of Notre Dame University. Awesome. Um, you know, you're a four star. What are you, 6'4? What's your height? 6'4, right uh, about 200 pounds. Okay. Um, talk about the process of you actually committing and um, uh, the conversation with, uh, you know, Brian Kelly. Oh, well, my whole family went in there, and we we sat down and talked to Coach Kelly for a while. He gave me a brochure that just gave him uh, his goals and everything, and uh, just about him and about the team and what he's done and what the team's done and how he'd like to be uh, like me to be a part of Notre Dame. Great. So what was his initial reaction when you actually told him that you were ready to come? Uh, he was very excited. He stood up and uh, shook my hand, and he was, he was fired up. Okay. And who's your pr primary recruiter there? Uh, Coach Elliott. Coach Elliott. Okay. So what's your relationship like with him and, and how long have you known him? I've known him for a couple of months now. He's a, he has a good relationship with my head football coach as well. And uh, so I've been talking with him over Twitter and had a couple of phone calls with him in the past couple of months and getting to know him a lot better. Okay. And what was your conversation like with Coach Martin, the offensive coordinator? Uh, that was great too. He told uh, told us about himself and told uh, told us about, his, about the team and how he runs everything and how he's a... Uh, He's assertive, but he's still uh, like a father figure in a sense. Great. And uh, I guess the one thing that comes to mind, you know, you're only a junior, just finished up your season um, this past week. Why Notre Dame and, and why this early? Uh, I think it just felt right. It felt like the place that, uh, that was right for me and the place that I needed to be. And it felt like a, a home environment, and I liked that very much. Okay. This past weekend was your second time on campus. Um, you were here for the USC game and then as well for the BYU game. Just talk about the atmosphere, the environment, and, and what you took away from the fans and just game, the game day. It's, it's, re it's really exciting uh, seeing all the fans because I know there's fans nationwide and worldwide for Notre Dame. and Especially at this last BYU game, it was pretty cold outside. and uh, Most fans stuck it through, and I think it was around 10 degrees, so it was pretty crazy. Yeah, it was, it was definitely really cold. <laughs> um, now, now you, you've got a pretty outgoing personality. You know, I've known you for a little while now. Um, what's your... What do you, what are you going to be doing going forward with the recruiting process and trying to get other guys to come with you and join you? You know, you're the second commit now for the 2015 class with Jerry Tillery yes. from Louisiana. What are you going to be doing going forward? Well, I've already been in contact with Jerry, and I think we're going to start uh, together, at least start to get some guys together and tell them Notre Dame's a place to be and a place that they should be. Okay. Any kids out west that you know of that you're going to kind of target as, as, as guys you want to... Not specifically right now. I mean, there's yeah. there's always a, a couple of kids that West Coast has normally a lot of top recruits. So I'll start uh, going to camp and everything and get relationships with them and try to bring them over. Great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then on yeah. on Saturday during the game, yeah. I know you had a, a chance to meet 2014 wide receiver commit yeah. Justin Brent. He's local here. Yeah. Um, what was that like, and and what did you kind of take from that conversation? Since it's probably a guy you're going to play with down the road. It was awesome. Uh, he asked, and he said, uh, "I just heard about me from California. I've heard about him as well. I've heard great things, and uh, it's very exciting. You know, there's a receiver that, uh, that I'm going to be able to work with in, in the future." Okay. And then, when do you plan on getting back to South Bend, um, whether it be for a visit, or, you know, anything like that? Uh, I'll probably be making several trips uh, over this off season and during the summer just to familiarize myself more. Okay. And now you work with uh, Steve Clarkson, right? Yes. He's one of the most respected quarterback gurus across the country. Um, how do you know him? What's your relationship like with him? And how often do you guys work together? Uh, we train together about once a week and uh, been building a relationship with him. And it's, it's been very, very helpful and very progressive. And uh, it's helping me through my recruitment process. And it's helping me make a decision. And it's great. Okay. Now I just want to go through your offers real quick. You got Arizona, Cal, Colorado, Duke, Ole Miss, UCLA, West Virginia, and obviously Notre Dame. A couple schools stand out to me from that. You got Arizona, Duke, UCLA, and West Virginia. Four coaches, four respected quarterback coaches as well. Um, give me like a self scouting report, and because obviously that's 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 a great thing to have those kind of offers. Give me a self scouting report. Why did those schools, including Notre Dame, offer you this early? Uh, I'm not sure uh, specifically, but I think uh, I put a midseason highlight tape out, and uh, it was. Uh, fairly, uh, it was better than what I've had, I would say, than last year, uh, and it uh, it helped me with my recruiting, and it helped my helped me get my name out there. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what a lot of guys are saying. They're curious, like, why is this kid so, you know, rated so lowly, so, so low? And then you know, you got me saying, 
you know, this is a kid to, to watch. He's going to, you know, skyrocket in the recruiting process. Um, what do you think it is, it is about your game that, that caught so many of these coaches' eye? What are some of your strong points? Well, I would say just for advantages I, I possibly could have is uh, I'm a pocket-passing type quarterback that has the ability to extend the play and to – to keep the offense going and, and try to prevent sacks. Okay. Um, have you ever ran the forty? Uh, I have. Any idea? What you do you remember what you? Well, uh, ran the last time I ran it was uh, about three months before season. Uh, I think then I ran uh, high four seven, but I think I'm definitely lower than that now. Okay. Um, what's the one area you want to improve through your training with with Coach Clarkson and? Um, I would say throwing on the run. I've, I've done fairly well at it this year, but I wanted to step up my game and uh, be able to be mobile in the pocket and still be able to roll out and make the pass. Okay. And the one thing, like I told you the first time we spoke, I watched your highlight film, the one thing I said to you was that your release seems a little long. Yes. Your motion's a little long. That's, that's one thing that you told me immediately mm -hmm. that you kind of laughed about it. You said that's the one thing you're working on right now as well, right? Yes, that's what... Uh, that I've been working on with uh, Coach Clarkson a lot and I've uh, been trying to improve and shorten up and get a lot quicker. Awesome. Well, again, congratulations on, on being the newest 2015 commit for Notre Dame. Um, again, for Blake Barnett, I'm Tom Loy. Thanks for uh, watching us at BlueGold.com.